Hello and welcome everybody. The title of my thesis is Vibrating Vaginal Balls to Improve Pelvic Floor Muscle Performance in Women After Childbirth, a Randomized Controlled Feasibility Trial. I will go through the title with you now and I hope that after three minutes you will have understood what I'm doing in my PhD. Let's start with the vibrating vaginal balls. They look like this one and there is a smaller inner ball and when you move them, they vibrate. So women are told to put a ball into the vagina and to move, to walk, uh, to do housework. And it's said that the need to keep the weight of the ball inside and feeling the vibrations would strengthen the pelvic floor muscles. So what's the pelvic floor? The pelvic floor is the bottom inner lining of our bony pelvis. It mainly consists of muscles and amongst its tasks is to maintain continence and to keep the organs above it well in place in a woman. So childbirth is a major challenge to the pelvic floor and women after childbirth have a weakened pelvic floor if not symptoms such as urinary incontinence. That's why we as midwives always tell women to do pelvic floor muscle exercises to strengthen their pelvic floor again. So my original research interest was if such balls, which are available for sale, are also effective in strengthening the pelvic floor muscles after birth. That's why I'm doing a trial. I have 56 women after childbirth in Vienna who are either trying a ball or doing pelvic floor muscle exercises. The exercise group is the control group for the ball group. That's why the study is called controlled. And randomized means that women cannot choose the group they go into. They are allocated by lot, by lot to one or the other. I'm measuring pelvic floor muscle performance by women self-rating on a questionnaire and by a technical measurement which is called perineometry where a vaginal probe is inserted and women have to squeeze their pelvic floor muscles as hard as they can. Finally, I'm doing a feasibility trial. So I'm not doing the real later trial, which will determine the effectiveness of the balls, but I'm preparing this trial. So I'm looking into recruitment issues, if data collection works, which resources we would need, adverse effects. So I'm looking into the feasibility of the later trial. I am also asking women for their experiences with and opinion on the trial and the interventions. Thank you very much for listening.